is it just a matter of semantics? And I pray that you're not anti-semantic. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> mm. My concern, my ongoing concern, is about the power of words and how the devil is robbing the church of that power. Satan doesn't want us to be able to effectively communicate with God or each with each other. That's right. That's a simple truth. Satan, think about this now, mm -hmm. Satan was the engineer, the architect, and the mastermind at the construction of the Tower of Babel. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. Okay. All right? He's there watching this old deal, man, is there, as people are trying to reach on their own works and get into heaven. He was there to see that, and he saw that because God confused the language of the people who were working on it, he confused their ability to communicate with each other, that destroyed that project, project that he, the devil, had inspired. He learned a lesson. Yes, he did. The question is, we? did we? That's the question. Mm -hmm. The families of the church in the United States commonly send their children off each day to be educated, poorly I might add. Mm -hmm. by the, they're educated by the world in the ways of the world. Yes. They are taught what is normal, that in spite of that, in spite of the fact that the Lord spoke through the prophet Jeremiah to say, thus says the Lord, do not learn the way of the nations, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 10.2. Those children are educated to be prepared for life with skills that are devoid of the Word and of Jesus. Never being taught that communicating with the living God, that's prayer, yes. needs to be a constant and normal part of everything done in life. Jesus said in, in Luke 18, 1, he said that we're at all times to pray. Paul said in Colossians 4, 2, we're to be devoted to prayer. And Paul, again, wrote that we're to be praying without ceasing in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. And I mean, you know, those are, I just picked a few verses. There are dozens and dozens of verses that talk about how we should be praying constantly. And yet, that can't happen in government schools, where children spend most of their waking hours and are being, quote-unquote, trained for life. Like the church of Laodicea, Jesus stands outside the doors of those schools, an outcast. Mm -hmm. That is not, and it never will be, normal. No. Absolutely not. Okay. I mean, I could talk about a lot of words, because I, I think that it's important. I mean, how often in common usage do you hear the word repent? The very first message of John the Baptist, the very first message of Jesus Christ. I mean, the very first message of, of Peter when he was out on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. That word is, is so powerful, so important, and yet, when, how, how often do you hear it? I promise you that it is, it is not common to be heard. It's been replaced with the word excuses. Well, and it's become replaced with self-esteem. You know, don't, don't trouble anybody. Don't, and this is in the church I'm talking about. Because remember, this is a search of Christianity. I'm not expecting Christianity in out the there world. in the world. No. I'm looking at inside the church. When was the last time you heard it in a church service? Well, what's, what's really significant is the fact that some of the biggest churches in the world, which happen to be here in the United States, refuse to talk about sin. That's right. <coughs> because that's linked. Let alone call people to repent that's of their right. sins. That's right. linked. Yeah. Because that goes back to the self-esteem. Because they're into self-esteem and right. preaching all the nice things, the smooth to things that people feel, want to hear. Feel good. But listen. That is, that, by the way, that is normal in these perilous last days mm -hmm. because the Word of God says that people will not endure, and he's talking about quote-unquote Christians, will not endure sound doctrine. What they want to do is they, they will accumulate for themselves teachers who will teach according to their own desires. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's going on. Yes. But you know what? That's to be expected because that's what the Word of God says would happen, right? All right, so just, just think about that, all right? We have to speak the truth in love. We have to bring the Word of God because it is the imperishable seed of the Word of God that has power to change people's lives. 
It is the word that God says through the prophet Isaiah that when he sends it forth, it will not return without accomplishing his purpose. Mm -hmm. There is power in the word of God. Absolutely. So don't let the world talk you out of using that word because people don't, quote unquote, understand it or like it, right? Mm -hmm. 